A lot's happened since the last video came out. Roblox and I reached a settlement. A short seller named Edwin Dorsey mentioned me in an article titled Problems at Roblox, and several law firms appear to have put out releases claiming to be investigating Roblox after their stock dropped 8% following the release of that article, which states that Roblox has engaged in litigation and intimidation to help conceal allegations of pedophilia on the platform. If you've been following me for a while, you'd know by now that I'm one of Roblox's most outspoken critics. I joined in 2008, 14 years ago, and over these 14 years I've seen time and time again children being exploited by pedophiles using Roblox and the moderators not doing anything about it. I've talked to victims, I've talked to predators, I've even talked to former moderators, all of whom have given me a very clear picture of just how serious the problems at Roblox really are. Rather than reaching out and asking me for help on how to deal with this, Roblox seems to have found it more convenient to file a lawsuit against me. In it, they allege that after being permanently banned from the platform, I continue to make new accounts and access their servers, which they refer to as hacking. They claim that they've spent over $100,000 trying to ban me from Roblox. That's pretty extraordinary, considering just last year, only a few months before they filed this lawsuit, they approved my application for the developer exchange and paid me over $2,000 for the Robux I earned developing a game on their platform called Runker51. They didn't just stop at accusations of hacking though. They state that the reasons I was banned in the first place are because I was engaging in sexual harassment, attempting to upload sex games, pictures of Hitler, nude images of myself with only a lampshade covering my genitals, and even glamorizing mass shooters. Guys, I've never done any of these things. Why on earth would Roblox pay thousands of dollars to a user who for years has been banned for sexual harassment? I know that in the past, Roblox has paid some very horrible people through DevEx, but never someone who they openly accuse of behavior like this. So which is it? Is Roblox really okay with paying people who do these sorts of things? Or is this all bullshit? You be the judge. I can give Roblox the benefit of the doubt on some of these claims and say maybe they just got confused by the thousands of fake Ruben Sim accounts on their website. But some of these are just so obviously false that I have no idea how they made it into this document in the first place. A nude image of myself with only a lampshade covering my genitals. Ask yourself why I, a YouTuber, with a reputation that I have to maintain, would upload compromising photos of myself where every image gets manually reviewed by people that hate me. I still haven't seen this photo. I'd really like to. If anyone has it, I'd appreciate it if you could tweet it at me. So far, the only nudes I've seen are from Roblox's own employees posing naked in Death Valley. I mean, sure, not everything here is false. They also accuse me of engaging in sexual conversation. Some of the scenes in the voice chat videos could surely be interpreted as sexual conversation. Yo, you come here often? Yeah, I come here often. I'm coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> but from what I understand, I was talking with other adults when I said these things. At the time this was recorded, voice chat was only given the Roblox's top earning developers, most of which, if not all of them, I assume, are over 18. I was also under the impression that this type of speech was allowed. They released a blog post around this time called The Future of Communication in the Metaverse that reads, Virtual communication should be governed by the same restraint we exercise in the real world. Context is critical here. In reality, you may be less filtered in a private conversation with your friend than a group conversation at a public venue such as a restaurant. The same will hold true on Roblox. To me, that says swearing and sex jokes are allowed as long as the context is appropriate. Apparently, I was wrong about that. I don't think a mistake like that warrants a fucking lawsuit, though. They even brought up the accounts Cock Assassin and 69Dev69. Yes, these are real accounts that I created. But here's the thing. I did this when I was a minor. I'm 25 now. This was 9 years ago. God forbid a 15-year-old makes a 69 joke on Roblox, or the admins upload audios that are just titled, Rape. I was pretty shocked that they would bring up rule violations from that far back and it's definitely something you guys should consider as you keep using Roblox. It's not beneath them to pull up infractions from your childhood if they ever decide to bring legal action against you. What I found most disturbing about this lawsuit is that all of the money they spent on this, all of the time and resources that went into suing me, could have been used against real predators on this platform, like Mr. Obvious or Dr. Rofat name. And I don't mean to deflect from the things I've actually done. I understand it was wrong to create accounts like 69dev69, 
But if Roblox is really interested in keeping their platform safe and civil, they should have prioritized dealing with more serious issues. The developer of Roleplanes 3 allegedly confessed to being on the sex offender registry for crimes against a minor. He has a Discord server linked directly on the Roblox website, and when I joined it, there was a channel dedicated to NSFW content that was filled with Roblox and furry porn. I contacted him directly asking about this, and he told me the screenshot was fake. Then he told me that the porn was all posted ironically, and that it was all just a big joke. He also told me he believes people 13 or 14 have a developed enough mind to consent to things they want, and that it's wrong for society to think that minors are still underdeveloped helpless kids. When I told him I had message links for what he says in the screenshot, he stopped responding. Imagine if this person worked at a public school, or a summer camp, or a child care center. Would you trust him with your kids? Fuck no. Why does Roblox trust him on their website? Mr. Obvious, a Roblox celebrity and winner of a Bloxy award, was Me Too'd by children in 2017, and his account remained up for another four years. This guy sent videos of himself masturbating to kids, and for years after he was exposed, he continued the exact same behavior. If Roblox cared as much about Mr. Obvious as they do about me, they should have given his information to the police. The same year Mr. Obvious was exposed, Notagame, a Roblox administrator, was alleged to have been sexting a 14-year-old boy. A user on Vermilion.net writes, This story is 100% true. I don't know how this person found these screenshots or how he learned about it, but it is true. Notagame asked my friend for nudes and my friend told him he was 14. They then exchanged nudes and started sexting. My friend deleted his messages as well as his nudes because he was ashamed. A certain HR, who shall also remain nameless, sent these leaked screenshots to Roblox, which then resulted in him being fired. After news of this broke, he was stripped of his administrator badge and his account was deleted. Not long after, he was unbanned and was active as recently as December. Developers being predators is one thing, but when accusations like this are coming out against Roblox's own employees, they should definitely be paying more attention. Granted, it's entirely possible someone could fake messages like this. However, I've been sent a folder with over 50 different screenshots allegedly of this administrator being inappropriate with children. Editing that many images would be a serious feat for any user, let alone a child. The problem isn't just with well-known users either. In the article Problems at Roblox, they bring up a police report which mentions the Roblox user Xbox Diamond Girl, a 45-year-old man who, according to police, gave Roblox cards to children in exchange for nudes, then used those nudes to blackmail them into sodomizing themselves on video. The Winstow Police Department was advised that then 13-year-old Blank had been blackmailed into sending naked videos of himself in the shower and sending other videos including sexual acts with a dog, urination, and human feces. Guys, this account is still not banned. Roblox saw this article they responded to it, calling it misleading and false. And the account Xbox Diamond Girl is still not banned. What the fuck is going on? If this guy got out on bail, if his trial was overturned on a technicality, if he were released for any reason whatsoever, what's to stop him from getting back on this account and continuing to prey on kids with it? These are the things that Roblox should really consider before they try to sue me again. All of the money they waste following lawsuits like this is money they could be spending to investigate these incidents and find out why they were handled so poorly. I'm positive that the damage these guys have done to Roblox's reputation is far worse than anything I've ever put on YouTube or Twitter. Suing your critics is not going to make these problems go away. It's certainly not going to improve your public image. All it's going to do is make your company look sinister and amplify the existence of these types of incidents. Either accept the help I've been offering or leave me the fuck alone. In the third and final video, I'll talk about the second half of this lawsuit, where Roblox accuses me of shutting down RDC. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.